only about a day of service. And we are here to honor our firefighters, Homeland Security, and some of our other officials. As a community person, as a citizen, we take the services that we get for the city for granted. We know that the work is important, but until you're there and you're up close and personal, you don't see just how important. I watched the firefighters not only put that fire out, but protect our property. They actually protected the property from catching fire. You have to remember these winds were blowing 55 miles an hour and we watched the embers fly from the warehouses going over to the other property. They were in the alley protecting the property. They were in front of the buildings protecting the property. And we were like, wow, they're going beyond the call of duty. Of course, when we spoke to them, they're like, this is our job. We know this is your job, but we've never seen that in action. In Detroit, we don't have to get ready because we stay ready. We're prepared. This is the service. This is the service that Detroiters deserve. And to the firefighters, to Homeland Security, to Terry Defoe out of the mayor's office who oversees Code Blue, to everybody involved, the mayor and I could not be more proud of you. You take care of people, you take care of families, and you make sure that families have the thing that matters most to them. And that's the people that they love because you take care of people. Property is secondary, but people is first. And you showed that in this day. You said, hey, people are a priority, which is why you weren't just fighting a fire. You were making sure the folks who had lost everything had a space to go. And once they went there, were safe and taken care of. What happened that night took the three C's. Communication, collaboration, and you know what else? Cooperation. The job itself uh, is so rewarding. You know, we come in and we work for administration that we care about people. And so when we have incidents like this that happens, these four alarm fires, which we know from October to April is a critical time because of, you know, how people heat their homes. You know, just anything can happen during those winter months. And so we all work together as a team to get the job done. We enjoy doing what we do. So we want to thank you all for recognizing because we, we count the zeros. How many lives we don't have to say we lost? How many buildings didn't get burned up? Because we respond properly, we're one of the few departments that tracks our progress, success by zero. So it's hard to track zero, but that's how we do what we do. So we want to thank you, Pastor, very much for recognizing and giving us a one instead of a zero today. A lot of times in the city of Detroit, you always hear the problems. People don't take the time out to stop and say thank you Job well done. And even though I tried to do that, and everybody kept saying, no, you don't need to do something, the people in the neighborhood said, yeah, yeah, we do, we do. It's not a job, it's not a career, it's a culture, it's a lifestyle, and we love it. We wouldn't do anything else. Pastor Barry presented the first responders and city officials with awards, followed by a reception for their families and neighborhood residents.